All right, hello. Steam controller. Um, got mine two days ago. Been using it for about uh, <coughs> six to ten hours. And about two hours in uh, FPS games. And the majority playing Broforce with is a 2D platformer. Uh, let's see. This is going to be a little bit of a quick look. Let me see if change the camera. Come on. Something like that might work. So, basic thumb buttons, and you get your triggers with actually clicks at the bottoms, back buttons, uh, a stick, two of these touch pads, this preferably meant to be used as a virtual D-pad, and the four buttons, steam button, you get this mini USB. Uh, it's using two AA batteries or power through USB. Cannot be charged through the USB. As the current situation, I'm using this wireless, but I'm pretty, pretty close to my computer. So I can't tell anything about the range, except that at this close range, it's working absolutely perfect wirelessly. <coughs> The quality seems definitely fine to me. Uh, it, it, this plug and play in Windows 10 drivers and everything yes works, but you should not ex uh, expect it to be plug it in, start your game and start gaming. Uh, you need to customizations, go through customizations and you need to set up the pads, everything. And for that you need big picture mode. So you, if you hate big picture modes, well, sorry, at the moment you need it. I and myself hope Valve will release or accept that someone else will create a third party utility that lets you create like a launcher where you can configure a shortcut and what kind of profile you want to use. In big picture mode you can set up a configuration to be used in desktop mode but as it's very hard to find a universal configuration that works with every game you pretty much got to change it every time you want to use it and you're going to be in big picture mode change the configuration go out big picture mode start your game that way uh, that works but uh, the preferred way is to run big picture mode and hope that your game if it's a steam game it should work if it's not hope that it works with the steam overlay in big picture mode and then it's easy to do the customizations <clears throat> you have cool few features uh, turbo function at the moment uh, there seems to be bugs in the software you can get turbo fire but if you enable it, all these buttons will get it at the same time. That's bad. I would prefer to only have it on one of the buttons. You can set turbo fire to other buttons, but they does not seem to work. Because I actually have in Broforce the game. I would like to have fire here. And when you click it all the way down, there's a separate action. And I would like that action to be turbo fire. But uh, the only way I got Turbo Fire to work was to enable it on these buttons, and then it was all these buttons. Uh, it was sad because I would like to jump and then use Fire, Turbo Fire. But then, uh, oh please, Turbo Fire to the jump button made me jump very short, so I had to reconfigure. But you know, it's uh, quite early, so hopefully it will get better over time, preferably quickly. So I think I got the most, oh, either it's a gyro or accelerator, 
accelerometer in this. So if you're playing FPS, <coughs> you can use the touchpad to like move around quick and then when you hold it to like aim, I'm gonna try to show it off a little bit. So the biggest thing about this is if you you really need to spend time with it and you need to customize it uh, because if you're just gonna think you can pick it up and everything is gonna be as a keyboard and mouse, no. Has I think it's still early, but I thought I do this video now and then maybe I do an update like a month or two and hopefully I will be with a more final judgment then. But I'm positive about the experience, especially for first person shooter, uh, for casual playing on the couch. It seems to be working quite good and I'm getting better and better all the time. Definitely think I could uh, get through some, some easy gaming and maybe further along I get to some medium ground, not I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat uh, keyboard and mouse experience, but I think I can get a pretty close and nice experience out of this controller. So I'm gonna try to see if to launch a quick game. I'm gonna try to make this not too long because there are a lot of other great YouTubers out there that has gone through this more extensively. Uh, so let's see. So I'm all right. I might you can all oh, right. Might be good enough. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through two FPS games, uh, one classic game, and the Bro Force, the 2D platforming game, and Rocket League, which is kind of a car football game. <laughs> Let's uh, see, I'm gonna start off with Quake and I'm gonna run this in desktop mode because it does not work in uh, big picture mode. Well, it works, but it's buggy, so better off launching this in desktop mode at the moment. So, hopefully this is working now. Quickly enter game. And this is with the gyro enabled. See? And you can tweak it to your liking. I'm still tweaking out the sensitivity and everything. And then you can do this for the quick move. And you can also enable it, which is a cool function. If you just slightly move this you are strafing, but if you move it all the way, you are running actually. I'm not sure how well you can see this, but basically when you are on the outer region of this, you can add it uh, to another trigger or button or anything, and for FPS games, it's great for me at the moment to add run to that button, so, so I can just be sneaky or running. Still uh, gonna take a lot more work to get used to this. As I said, I'm only about two hours into playing FPS games, so I'm pretty much in the early stage of getting the hang of this. But I'm very much confident that you could play quite nicely. Because this is definitely one of the best experiences I have with the FPS and the controller. But I tried. Destiny on the PlayStation 4 and I just could not 
play at all. I wasn't even probably couldn't barely hit anything. So I'm very much more positive about this experience. And I'm saying I'm not going to try to spend too much time here. Uh, easy to get caught in the moment, just having fun. Let's see, maybe I should rush to the first days or something. We'll see, a little bit more. Still, this is easy mode, but yeah, I think you can see the idea that it is quite possible to do some basic FPS playing. Obviously I'm holding the controller, hopefully you can see it, but a bit weird so it makes it even harder. Especially to move it sideways. <laughs> Quite nice actually, I think definitely I wouldn't mind playing through Quake this way. And you aren't on the big TV or you know your preferred setup. I don't know, see it's gonna switch games. And it's going to be another desktop game. It kind of works in big picture, but it's not too well. Uh, Let's see, hopefully this works. Alright, just a quick race. Motion anyway, let's boot that up and try. Big picture mode. See if this works better. Using this at uh, the to be the pass, I, I have not gotten used to it. So I'm using this thing. Okay, let's see. I actually prefer playing this game on keyboard, so this is. <laughs> you can play, but it seems to be a bit buggy with the input, actually. Sometimes I see something pretty terrible. I'm guessing that's a whole game to use a divide emulate uh, not compatible with the big pieces so you know you can't really blame Steam for it. So. Like an RT is only stopping this. It's just a quick to you anyway, so I'm going to do this later. I think that 
that's enough. Quit. Uh, next up, I'm going for Far Cry. This is quite a hard game. I actually think I have finished it, but it's been quite a while since I did that. Um, but uh, Farka is another game that I'm going to be using the gyro basically like Quake but more advanced game it's much harder and uh, I'm gonna be loading a save from a normal difficulty and since I'm so new with this it's going to be pretty brutal I'm gonna get killed pretty instantaneously I believe but I still believe that if I lower the difficulty to easy and get used to it a little bit more I could play through Far Cry and have a fine experience so hopefully this is working and let's see load up a checkpoint and see unfortunately most of these saves are in difficult spots but let's go for a young save I'm gonna get killed anyway so let's doesn't matter where Actually, this is one of the games that work very well with big picture modes and all in all. Really nice. But you see, uh, the best way to get through this game are obviously sneaking and that is not my thing. Yeah. I really think actually yeah. the more you use it the more you find out that it actually works pretty well
obviously the gyro is the main thing that makes everything works. Because I don't think I would be able to hit anything without it. Now I'm kind of blind. The hell am I getting shot at? Quick look, um, let's go for the next, uh, my current favorite game, it's Bro Force. Again, I'm gonna use the stick for my main moves because I just feel more at home with it. Uh, you, as you said, you had this, and you, I'm sure if you configure it, you could quite do that. Like actually, I'm just so more precise with the control stick. Again, I'm gonna use, uh, I am using the outer part to run, so if I'm walking and I'm running. It was uh, great for the most part, but as you can see, the Neo Shack character, every time he, he starts to run, he dashes. So, having binding dash to the outer part of the stick makes him randomly, well not really randomly, but in bad places start to dash. Uh, but overall, it's much nicer to be able to just, I'm running, can walk to one single motion. Uh, previously I used to have like a button as I was then dashing through a button and then I basically hold that button all the time. Be tired, tired. So I definitely think cool. Yet as good at, at this game as I was with the Xbox 360 controller. Um, the only thing is about the turbo five function. It would have been amazing to shoot normally and then press it all the way and have turbo fire. say could be the, the button. I don't know if you can hear him, but they are actually quite 
loud, and this is the back buttons. Um, these are fine, but these have also quite a high click noise. This is a more subtle click noise. But this and this, but uh, while when you're in the game, and uh, I don't think I'm even gonna be bothered with it about that. So. <clears throat> it's uh, quite actually quite loud for me since I have no audio at the moment. You should have in-game audio, but I do not. It's going to be Rocket League. Get back. I hope you have enjoyed this little quick look. You can leave a comment about questions or anything if you like. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do do a single kind of game videos or not. This was just a little bit of fun quick look. And uh, also so I could compare my own thoughts on this later on. To see how much they have changed or improved or overall impressions. Since it is uh, quite a different device. Hopefully this works and... Let's let's lower this. Let's just do free play. Soon gonna end this video, so all right. So here I'm using the trigger here. And while if I'm just if so when I press the trigger fully it's actually engaging the turbo. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way or not. Because accidentally sometimes I engage the turbo when not really intending to, but it's interesting. Exactly, I'm actually can use this one and it works actually quite good in this game. Uh, it's just the stick is quite good so I don't feel uh, really the need to use. But for uh, for this game, actually, the the left touchpad is quite nice, uh, but I'm not sure if I prefer it or not. I guess I should basically force myself to use it more to really get a feel for it. Uh, I have found no really bugs 
when playing this game since that this big picture mode and the overlay and the mapping everything works fine. It's just me that's bad as this game. Just recently picked this up as I got the Steam controller. Well, uh, I think that's gonna be enough. I hope this video wasn't too long or too boring for you, but as it has given you some information. Just leave a comment if you have any questions and if I can I will answer them as quickly as possible.